welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're going to be focusing on some new strategies we can use with Trade with a Sniper feature here, focusing primarily on their Twitter Sniper feature and on their Dev Sniper feature. Let's get started. To get yourself over to their Sniper Options page, you want to go over to the Start menu like I am here, click Snipe, and then you can click on Add, and then you can select on what kind of Snipe you want to do. The first strategy that we're going to be talking about, you have to be fast and I'm going to explain to you how it works. So a lot of these coins that come out of Twitter, let's say it's a big tweet from a big influencer. You're going to see a lot of the same name or similar name tokens coming out at the same time. Right now it's not happening. You have to be sitting here like I do sometimes in the trenches to spot it in real time. We're going to look at one where it did happen. There's a coin called Betroom. Just showing you guys this as the example here. So looking at Betroom here, if we go to similar tokens on Axiom. If you guys are brand new to Axiom and never traded with it, it's the best platform. You can save 10% on fees by using my link down below. And we can see here, there's a lot of different tokens made with the same name. So what can you do? You can take the name like I did, copy it, and then you head over to the sniper. I named it Bedroom, put my sniper mount, put your fees, and then you select Twitter, and then you put the ticker. I put Bedroom here, but when you go to method, you want to make sure you put contains. If you put exact, you're only going to snipe the coins with the exact name. Some of these coins will have a similar name, but you want to snipe those as well. I would suggest putting contains. Click back. And once you're happy with your settings, mine are already set up with my slippage fees, everything. Click create. And just like that, the bedroom is created. So if another coin named bedroom or with a similar name is made, I'm going to snipe that one instantly. Now, before we get into the more exciting strategy, we all know that TradeWiz is the fastest trading bot on Telegram and best known fees, but is it the fastest sniping bot? They recently did a test up against Bloom, and when it came to speed and fees, TradeWiz was faster and cheaper. So now it is confirmed they're not only the fastest trading bot, they're also the fastest sniping bot. If you guys are new to TradeWiz, I highly recommend you give it a go. The link will be down below for you in my video description. Now, how do we find good devs to snipe? There's various ways we can go by it. But the most simplest way is by just hanging around migrated and looking through the migrated tokens. And a really cool thing Axiom recently added in is before it would just show you how many coins have migrated. It wouldn't show you out of. Now it shows you out of. This saves you time so you don't have to open up every single coin and see, oh, they made like 3,000 coins and like one migrated. Here there's a coin called TTT. They've made five tokens, one migrated. This one, if you sniped it, of course, you would have been pretty well on. And we take a look at the other one. So Monkey, I don't think did much. Monkey, you would have bought here. It's always good to mark it up and see like how much would you have lost. And you sold here at the bottom, you know, 22%. Not the end of the world. Taking a look at Fruit. Fruit did go somewhere. You would have bought here for around, let's just say 9.5K. 9 and we'll mark it up real quick. And it took about three minutes for it to top. And up course, in a perfect world, if you sold at the top, you would have gotten over 300%, but you could have sold somewhere here and still made some good money. And taking a look at bros as well, you know, the coin, it didn't bond. Not all the coins have to bond for you to make money, especially if you're sniping. Here, and Cupsy got into this one right here. This is Cupsy right here. We can see you would have gotten in really cheap. In about 20 seconds, you could have made like 300%. Now we're going to take a look at bet. Nothing really crazy happened. If you bought here somewhere, highly doubt you would have sold here. You would have probably just ended up losing on this coin. So out of the five coins so far that this dev has made, three out of five, you could have potentially made some nice multiples. And you can go even further and you can open up the dev on SoulScan. I already opened them up and take a look at his transactions and his inflow. I put it on transfer and we can see that whenever he makes a coin, he sends a big amount. So an hour ago, he sent about 700 bucks. Here, a day ago when he made that coin, he sent 250 almost. Here, he sent, you know, 850. You can put a tracker on the dev's wallet as well. When he makes a big transfer over, you can expect him to make a coin. This is if you guys want to dive in deeper and really know what this dev is doing. Now that we've done our homework on this dev, and we know that three out of the five coins he made, three of them did multiples. I'm going to set up a sniper on this dev. His address is right here. We're going to copy it. Head over to TradeWiz. I already gave it a name. And the sniper mount is here. I set that up. My slippage and gas fees is all set. Right here where it says dev not set, this is where you want to put the address. And we're going to put that in. And guys, by the way, TradeWiz is going to be adding a max 
and min market cap feature soon. Keep an eye out for that. What that means is basically, let's say I don't want to snipe coins that are more than 10K market cap. You'll be able to set that. I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but it will be out shortly. So do keep an eye out for that. And as well, guys, I did look up his three coins that did go and I was looking for what can we get away with? So here, easily we could have gotten 200% here on fruit, again, 200% and on TTT as well, 200% was possible. I'm going to target 200% for this def. How do we do that? We go to snipe auto sell here. We turn that on here, go to add, type in here, 200%, sell 100% of our position. And you can also put a stop loss by clicking add again, and we'll do something like negative 30%. So a hundred percent of our position, and I'm going to leave this one running because I do think this dev is quite good from what I'm seeing so far. I do think he's going to make another coin that might, you know, two, three X and feel free to leave a runner. I just gave you guys some simple take profits and stop losses. There's been so many times where I bought a coin and sold, you know, for two, 300%. And if I left a runner, it would have went up by another thousand or 2000%. So feel free to leave like 10%, 5%, 20%, whatever you're comfortable with. This example right here, we would have hit it. Because we would have sniped right here. We would have gotten our 200% take profit. And it went up well over 1,000%. Very useful to leave a runner because a lot of these coins do end up going higher. Another thing I want to talk about, and I'm getting into it more myself. I'll be talking about it in my live streams and videos in the future. It's foreshadowing. A lot of these devs, I know what they're doing, but I miss a lot of their plays because I'm not foreshadowing what they're going to do. And what do I mean by this? For example, this dev right here, he made one token. It migrated. There's a chance he's going to make another token, might migrate, might do some multiples. There's a chance that might happen. So what can we do? We can open him up. This is a dev right here on SoulScan. Right now, all of his money is in the coin and we can monitor him. As a lot of these devs that make one token that migrate, they'll make more than one after. And even if the second one doesn't migrate, it'll do some multiples or it even might migrate. I've seen this happen over and over and over again. And I'm thinking, how come I'm not foreshadowing this? And how come I'm not trying to catch these plays before they happen? And they do happen. This is just another strategy I want to bring up with you guys. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, we do have a crypto discussion group on Telegram. Feel free to join. I'll leave the link down below for you. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.